Welcome back everyone. Hit that like, hit that subscribe if you like this video. Comment down below, tell me your opinions of what do you think about this. We're just gonna quickly go over the whole Byron Jones thing right now. I think if you watch a previous video of mine, I explained how I just, I don't trust this whole Byron Jones thing. I don't think it's really what uh, Byron Jones is making it out to be. And I think it's kind of just a play on what he's trying to do. And we all know, or most people that really, really do watch the Dolphins, watch a lot of the podcasters, you understand that kind of seemed like Byron Jones was a Brian Flores puppet, basically. Like he was like, it was like Brian Flores' kid, essentially. He comes out and has a couple tweets. One in particular where he's targeting back when he was at the Combine and he tested so well and blah, blah, blah. And he comes out and he's like, oh, don't take the medications they give you. Don't take these things. Consult outside doctors. I can't run or jump because of the injuries that I've had to this game. And it would come off most of the time as something that you're like, oh, God, that's terrible. You know, it's just another thing that the NFL has done. But you need to look deeper into this. And I think only when you really unlock, just it's kind of the same thing with everything in this world. Just take a look a little bit deeper than what everybody is going to tell you. Look at what's happening. So way back in the day, way back, 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 um, there was a person that said that we couldn't win with Tua. There was an unknown source that was in the locker room that said that we couldn't win with Tua. Nobody ever figured out who it was. And clearly the whole team rallies around Tua. It was just one unnamed person that that had occurred with. Bef <coughs> Excuse me. Before that, Xavier Howard, when he was trying to get his deal, um, and Byron Jones was the highest paid corner, but Xavier Howard had the most picks in the league again, he was basically saying like Xavier Howard doesn't really deserve the money that he has coming to him and that he has no real part in it. This is when Brian Flores was the head coach. And now, all of last year, he's out on the physically unable to perform list. And, you know, he's saying right now that he can't run or jump. If that were the case, if he still couldn't run or jump, IR is where you put players like that. If you really think about that, any player that is unable to do anything because of an injury, you put them on IR because they're done for the year. They're not able to play. What I find so funny about this is that Byron Jones was never put on IR the whole entire season. He was only shut down way, way into December, which if they saw that this was happening, if you couldn't run or jump week six into the season, at that point you're getting shut down. Because uh, even if you come back, there's no way you're coming back from midway into the season, you can't run or jump, to all of a sudden being able to cover elite talent in the NFL. There's no way that you're going to do that. So that's the first thing that's fishy with me. The second thing is that the guy took months to have this operation done that was really just, it, it wasn't like it was something that he he tore a huge amount of muscle and he needed to, it, it, this was something to recover from past injuries and nagging injuries. This was something that he was trying to do to enhance himself. Same thing like J.K. Dobbins was trying to scope out his, his knee to get back on the field. That's the type of surgery that this was supposed to be. You're not put on IR the whole entire season. And the fact that you're saying you can't run or jump, but there's a video that comes out midway into the season of you cutting and, and trying to do things and jogging when apparently now you can't do that. That's, that's the first two red flags. And the third red flag is if you supposedly can't run or jump, you hate the NFL for how they've treated you, and you have all these nagging injuries that are so painful and it, it hurts so much, but you're not retiring? I, I just, I need an answer to that because that makes no sense. 
you're not retiring, but you can't run or jump, but you don't want to move away from the sport that supposedly destroyed you. Doesn't make any sense. And here's what it's leading me to believe, is that we had a trade option that we could have done last year, which he screwed us out of because he got the surgery, so nobody really wanted to trade for him. You couldn't really get anything for him. And you come into the season this year, if you're not really into it, you're not gonna put up good tape. So no one's really gonna want to trade for you. Screwed us out of that. And he couldn't play, so basically screwed us out of trading him again. And then we now have the option one more time to trade Byron Jones to get a couple picks or whatever it may be. And all of a sudden, he is damaged goods again. And we can't move him. So now what that basically means is that he's gonna get cut. We're not gonna trade him for anything because no one's gonna want him. He can't run or jump, supposedly. And what I really do think is going to happen, Brian Flores is on the Vikings. Brian Flores is basically like this guy's dad. I can almost bet you money that what is going to happen is now we have to cut him. So now we can't trade him to whatever team. And now he can't just get out of whatever situation he is because he used it perfectly. To, in his defense, he used this perfectly to get out of being traded to another team he doesn't want to be. He's now going to be a free agent, and I guarantee you he's going to take significantly less to go to the Minnesota Vikings, and Brian Flores is going to pick him up in free agency, and I can 100% bet you that. I think when we fired Brian Flores, he got really butthurt about it, and I think ever since then he's been trying to just essentially find his way back to his papa. So like I said, I, I don't know his situation but there's just a lot of things that aren't adding up. Now, you can tell me your two cents and, and what you'd like in the comment section below. I just wanted to make a quick video about what you should really take into consideration when it comes to this guy, because I don't, I don't believe it, really. There's a lot of, eh, it's a lot of filth that I, I don't really believe. But as always, hope you have a great rest of your day. Fins up, peace.